May the Lord keep us in his peace as world events unfold. Amen. Jesus began, Things are steadily increasing in intensity. Very soon there will be war and events that no one could foresee. You are right in thinking that I have intervened and saved this planet so many times. This will be a major wake-up call for all Americans. It is time that Americans listen up and turn to God. This will not be an easy transition from materialism to God, but it will be effective. The whole world will be awake in a way they never thought possible. The things that matter to them so much now will be utterly useless and unimportant. And then comes the great divide, where the differences in belief will galvanize. This will be a tremendous challenge for your country and even for each family. Rest assured, Russia and your enemies are counting on this. The best thing you can say to the people beyond having an intimate relationship with me is to not play into the divide they are creating. You are being turned against one another so that brother will destroy brother, mother will destroy son, son will destroy mother, and so on. This is the preparation for the mark of the beast John has written about in Revelation. I have warned you about in the book of Revelation. Okay, well, I'm going to take it aside here and bring something up. And that is that it seems that a reliable source has reported that Russia has sent all her nuclear submarines out and threatened Europe and America if they continue to interfere with the things that are going on in the Ukraine. From many people, I've heard that the Ukrainians really want to be with the Russians, but it seems that the typical political manipulation that America has been doing for scores of years, where they depose a ruler from their country who may have been the people's favorite and set up their own ruler who will comply with the wishes they have and the resources they want to get out of that country. And that's one of the reasons why we're hated around the nation, around the world. So we heard that Russia had sent out her submarines and all of them are nuclear submarines and fully armed, and that also there's a very threatening asteroid coming in. Nobody knows exactly what effect it will have on our planet. On top of that, pilots flying over the oceans are seeing the oceans. They're seeing lights in the ocean, places where fires are coming up from the center of the earth and illuminating the ocean in places along the Mariana Trench, I think, was one place. Well, there are a few places where they see light emanating in a long crease in the ocean bed. Light is emanating from that, and they're reporting fires under the water in many places around the world. Guys, the Lord is being very merciful with us if these things were happening out of the water, we would not survive them. Instead, the Lord is allowing all of these volcanoes to shoot off underwater. And soon there are going to be mountains rising up out of the ocean because of all the lava that has been spewed out from within the earth. There's some really incredible things going on right now, things that we are not prepared to see and to know about. So the Lord has been protecting us. I listened to Mike from around the world, and one of the things he said is the scientists, astrophysicists, and so on, are all baffled by why our planet hasn't been destroyed by now. They even had a meteor coming in. Or there was even a body, a heavenly body, coming towards the Earth. And it got very, very close, and then it turned around and went right back out again. And there was no earthly explanation for why that happened. God has been protecting us. 
but because of the sins of our nation. He has lifted his hand of protection and he is allowing some of these horrible things to take place. So be prepared. Be prepared. These things have been planned for centuries. Jesus continued, I have protected you for centuries, but the blood of the innocents crying out from the ground has caused my Father's hand to be lifted, and now you are in full-fledged rebellion. Much could have been avoided if abortion became illegal. America, you will reap what you sowed, and the devil laughs. Materialism has become the god of this country, and human life has become a commodity that is inconvenient for the bottom line. That's not to even mention the atrocities that are continually committed by the underground satanic community. Oh, how money corrupts! Only at the end of the cleansing of this earth that must take place will people come to understand how very horrible this modern culture has become. I am not giving up on this earth. Only the cleansing must come before any restoration. All will see their crimes, and things they never considered a sin will prove to be their undoing. In this way, the new earth and those who remain and return will go forth having learned their lessons. Lift up your eyes to heaven, for your redemption draweth nigh. The time is at hand. The day of the Lord is approaching. Repent, repent of the ungodliness in your lives and beg for the Lord's mercy for you and your loved ones.